What's up, fellow explorers? You know what's up? Pot stickers and egg rolls, just like you remember in a Chinese restaurant. Now, we do not make these from scratch. There are very few things that we will admit we cannot make from scratch, gluten and dairy free. But Feel Good Foods found a way to do it and they are absolutely delicious. Now, why are we here to show you how to make something that comes prepackaged in a box? Because a lot of you don't know how to cook these properly and they're coming out horrible little bit gummy, not as crunchy. So we are going to show you the best mm -hmm. way to make both the pot stickers and the egg rolls. Yeah. And you will swear when you're eating them, you are in your favorite Chinese restaurant and you may have to seriously stock up on these. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, I want to make sure that everybody knows, keep these guys frozen right up until the time that you go and fire these things up. They need to be frozen. Do not thaw these out. With that being said, let's get going. I've got our pot stickers inside the package. You will find a frozen packet of tamari dipping sauce. Do not discard this. We're going to use it in a unique way, not as a dipping sauce. We'll show you that later. I've got my pan of boiling water and I've got my bamboo steamer on top of it. One of the first things we want to do is get the pot stickers into the pan and get them on their flat side. We want to steam these for seven to 10 minutes. And the secret to this step is setting the dough. If you take these from frozen and put them in your oven, they will turn hard as a rock. If you try and air fry them, if you try and bake them, or if you try and deep fry them. By steaming them, you're really setting the softness of your dough and you're mostly cooking it. That's step one of the process. So what if someone doesn't have a bamboo steamer? It's really cute and all, but I don't think a lot of people will have it. So if you haven't made the investment in a bamboo steamer, hopefully you steam some veggies and you have one of these steamers. This is less expensive than this. I recommend you have both, but if you only have this, you can put it in the pan of water as well with a lid. I would spray this with some non-stick spray prior to putting, because otherwise the Pot stickers will stick directly to it. Bamboo steamer, they won't stick to. This they will, so spray it down first. Bamboo steamer, preferable. This will work in a pinch. While our pot stickers are cooking, I have a cast iron pan filled with about an inch and a half of oil. We use sunflower oil. You can use canola oil. Um, in a pinch, you could use olive oil, but I don't recommend deep frying in olive oil. And yes, I said we are deep frying these. Do not be afraid of deep frying. Um, these you can bake and they will turn out mod marginally well. Um, I've heard they turn out okay in the air fryer too, but you have the same issue. Because of the consistency and the gumminess of the gluten-free dough that they use to make these, they turn hard as a rock when they're baked. So frying really is the best option. And let's face it, these are appetizers. We're not eating these all the time. It's okay to have some fried food every once in a while. Our favorite motto, Victoria, is what? Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. So we're going to go ahead and deep fry these because you will get the best results. So while these are cooking, our oil is getting up to temperature. We want to start this. Keep in mind, these are frozen. We want to start this at about 375 is when we want to go into the oil. Because they're frozen, the temperature is going to drop really fast on that oil. And we're going to want to turn up the heat. So we're at about 345 right now. We're going to give that another minute. These things are sizzling away. We're going to check back on both of these items in another minute or two. Our oil is at 370 degrees. I'm going to call that good. We're going to take our A-rolls and lay them into the oil. And again, please lay your stuff when you're going into a fryer away from you. You can see you've got some splash up here, but just to avoid burning yourself. I can see my oil here drop down to about 280 degrees immediately. So I'm actually going to turn my temperature up to bring that up to speed quickly. One of the things you want to do for sure is keep turning these. We don't have a lot of oil. They're not fully submersed. So we're going to keep turning these while those are starting. We're going to peek in on our pot stickers. Oh, look at those. Those are looking fantastic. Mm. They do not feel completely thawed out in the center yet, but the dough is setting up nice. I'm going to put the lid on and then I'm going to show you a little trick here. This frozen packet of, of tamari dipping sauce. We're just going to set that right there and it's gonna thaw out and warm up nice and neat. All right, it's been about five minutes or so. I wanna give my egg rolls a turn. Oh, you can see we're getting some really nice color on them. I'm actually gonna move the one in the middle over here to the edge because it's cooking a little bit faster. So we're gonna get even cooking. 
We've got, oh, our tamari dipping sauce is nice and hot. We can put that off to the side. Let's have a look under the hood here and see what we got. Oh, look at that. Those are looking and smelling fantastic. Here's one of the reasons you really want to invest in a bamboo steamer. So when you put these on there, they kind of stuck right away to the bamboo. But the bamboo has a secret. It will let you know when these are done because it will release them. If they stick, they still have a little bit more time to get. If they move freely, they are done. And we let's see that. That one's a little sticky. That one's free. That one's free. That one's free. That one's a little sticky, and that one's a little sticky. So I'm going to let these go for another minute or two just to finish them up. We're going to keep turning our egg rolls, and then we'll get the egg rolls out of the oil and show you the second step. Our egg rolls are looking fantastic. We're going to get these out of the oil. I just have a plate with some paper towel on it to soak up any excess oil. But look at the color. Ooh, those look amazing. Yeah, these look really, really fantastic. And these things stay hot for a very, very long time. And then let's have a look at our pot stickers. The couple that were sticking have pretty much released. Let's cut our flame off. We're going to get these guys out of our bamboo basket. Now we're going to get our bamboo basket, which is quite hot, out of the pan. Piece of the bamboo basket fell off. <laughs> Time for a new bamboo basket. I think that'll be our second one. And <laughs> our third. We're going to get rid of the water. Wipe out our pan, get it back on the stove. And that pan's fairly hot, but I'm going to put the heat about three quarters of the way up. I am going to use a combination of olive oil and sunflower oil. The bottom of that pan is nice and coated. You want that oil hot before you put your pot stickers back in that oil because they will stick very badly if the oil is not hot enough. So we're going to get that up to temperature. If you need to test if your oil is hot enough, take a little bit of water and you hear that sizzle, that tells you that your oil is just about ready to go. Into the hot oil, don't be surprised if the, the dough does tear a little bit, not going to hurt anything. We're going to let these cook on the flat side for a couple of minutes. When we go to turn, remember that tamari dipping sauce we had? When we go to turn these over, we're going to add that tamari dipping sauce back into the pan to give these guys some flavor and some color. Okay, we're ready to flip these guys. Now, the reason I like to use stainless steel tongs, not rubber ended tongs, is if we do get some sticking on the bottom of the pan, you can use the tong kind of as a spatula to dig these up. And you can see here, we did get, oh, this one stuck. That one stuck really bad. Oh, the rest of these, not so much. Look at that. There's always one that there, doesn't cooperate. Yeah, always. there's always one or two. But you know, it still eats really well. Yeah, they're still, they're still going to taste delicious. And then we had one come apart. So we did pretty good. Now we've got that tamari dipping sauce. We're going to go right into the pan. And we're just going to let these guys finish up for a couple of minutes and then we're ready to plate. These look absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So for garnish, which kind of, you know, is a big, I think it's a very important part of this is I've, we've got green onions and some black and uh, white sesame seeds. And especially my favorite thing to do is to dip these in spicy mayo, which you can find the recipe. I'll put a link up here and it'll also be a link in the description below. So now the big question, the egg roll or the pot sticker, which one are you going for first? The egg roll is closest to me, so I'm jumping into the egg roll. Okay, I'm, do, I'm doing the pot sticker, which I absolutely love these. Okay, going in. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh my God, these are so good. The cooking process mm. is three, these are, these are good on their own, but the cooking process is three quarters of the battle of getting these to turn out like they came from your favorite Asian restaurant. Yes. 
I, I love, what I love about the pot stickers is they've got that softness. They're not hard, but there are some crunchy parts because you put them in the oil afterwards. That adds, mm -hmm. you've got some softness, some crunchiness, flavor. I love the tamari dipping sauce on there. And then when it mixes with the spicy mayo, it's amazing. I just, yeah, it's a great, I absolutely great love Great combination. This. I'm going to go in it for another one. Oh, we're going. Egg rolls are perfectly cooked, crispy on the outside soft on the inside. Again, I don't feel that you get that texture with an air fryer or in a baked situation. Not with gluten-free dough anyway. Maybe in a regular situation, you, it, they might turn out good. Possibly. But really frying them is going to give you the best results. Crispy outside, soft on the inside. These are delicious. These are. If you serve these to your family or friends who are not gluten-free, they will never mm -hmm. know. But yeah. You know, why serve them? Keep them to yourself. We don't get this stuff very often. So go out, buy some boxes of the feel good egg rolls and pot stickers, make them up and have a very enjoyable meal. Feel Good Foods makes a whole bunch of other foods as well, so check them out. I will have a link to them down below. Mm -hmm. And if you make them, make these in this manner, go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know how you liked it. We'd love to hear. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do. That really helps us out and give us a thumbs mm -hmm. up. Oh, and enable those notifications so you'll know when we have a new video, which is every week. And until next time, happy, happy eating. eating.